Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I hope you guys are great today. Um, today I'm just putting a lot of new products on my face. This is how it turned out. Um, so if you'd like to see how I got all this gorgeousness, just chill out and keep watching. Okay, got my unicorn horn on, which kind of clashes I think with the Aerosmith shirt that I'm wearing, but I don't care. I just, that's who I am. Okay, so I have all of this stuff to put on my face. Um, I'm not going to be doing primer today because I like to try out new foundations without a primer and see how they do first. I found the ABH Stick Foundation in the shade Porcelain just very re like this weekend at my TJ Maxx. From the reviews that I've seen, it's a pretty decent foundation. Um, it just is like very tiny for the price, I think is the biggest complaint that I saw. So this is what it looks like. Ooh, definitely looks like it might be an okay shade. It might be a little bit yellow toned for me, but it's definitely on the light side, which is just, that's a good start at least. <laughs> um, I also have never yet used a stick foundation. So that might be interesting, but we're just going to dive right in. Um, I'm trying to decide how I want to do this. I want to try it with both my beauty blender and a brush for sure. Let's see how this goes. Mm. interesting oh okay suspicion found correct I think this is one yeah by the way ignore that please I think this is one that you're gonna have to use with a brush because that is thick. Which is good because it seems to have like coverage. Like look at that already. So that's awesome. Find me a dense little brush here. Going back to the beauty blender and we're just going to do what we can having trouble It definitely has decent coverage, and this is definitely a good shade for me. Um, I don't know how I feel about that, though. If you have dry skin, definitely don't try this out. Because I definitely feel like it's clinging. Like, can you see how that looks on my nose? I don't know if that's showing up good or not yet. It's a little bit. 
like where I have a little bit of texture on my nose, like it is clinging to all of that. I need to exfoliate really bad. And then I've got some texture here that it's clinging to as well. Oh. And it looks okay if I don't move my forehead, but then I do this. And can you guys see, I don't know how good <laughs> you can see, but it is like gathering in all of the lines on my forehead. So I'm not super impressed <laughs> with this, the way it is. It's already gathered right here in this line. And it's like, like I brought a setting powder out here to use, which I think I'll use just a little bit of to make sure things blend out normally. Um, but <laughs> like, it's like pretty set down already. Like it's, and it's not like, like it's coming off a little, like I could rub it off but it's not got that like wet feeling to it, if that makes sense. Which I guess is probably normal for stick foundations, but I don't know. Um, so yeah. Um, I don't know how I feel about this. I don't know, we'll have to see. But anyway, let's move on to concealer. If I can find the cap for this. <laughs> Next, I have the LA Girl Pro Conceal HD Concealer. I have a feeling this is going to be possibly dark and or yellow toned or both for under my eyes, but we're gonna try it out and see. I also have some crap that I can try to cover up if I need to. It's got this weird like brush applicator on it that I don't know how I feel about, but. That's not bad. That's not terrible. You can see the difference and it's not as terrible of a shade as I was expecting once it's blended out. I'm making funny faces. If you don't make funny faces while you're doing your makeup though, you are abnormal. It's not the greatest coverage ever, but that's not terrible. I mean, there is definitely coverage to it. So nice. I do definitely prefer my Catrice. Catrice is definitely better and they are similarly priced. I did get that one on sale on Ulta so it was like really really cheap. It was like two bucks or something but normally I think they're similarly priced around about have an eyelash I just don't think there's any helping the state that my nose is in right now. You know what, I brought my Tarte Shape Tape out here in case this was a no-go. We're gonna bust that buddy out for my nose and all of the redness that that entails. And now my nose will probably be lighter than my under eye, but it's okay. It will not be as red. Not too bad. 
All right, and then I brought, this is not new, this is my Essence All About Matte Setting Powder that I know and love. Because some things you just have to kind of keep to the norm in order to test new things out. Oh yeah, we are set, perfect. Okay. Bronzer, Ipsy recently sent me the Benefit Hula Bronzer, which I have never tried before. So, it's new to me, probably not new to some of you. Benefit, unfortunately, is not cruelty-free. This is the first not cruelty-free I'm using in this. Everything else so far has been. Okay. Ooh, she powdery a little. Oh wow, it looks worse <laughs> in my camera. <laughs> I was like, oh, there's not much there. And then whew, went a little haywire with it. Let's fix that. And we blend. And we continue to blend. Oh crap. And we grab some powder. And we blend. There we go. Uh, this shade is a little bit more like warm toned and bronzerish than I normally use, especially for contour, but that's not a big deal. It's still like, like depth wise is a good shade for my skin tone. It's not like too uber dark or anything as long as I don't go ham with it. But you know, sometimes happens. Okay, not bad, blends easy. I was able to fix my boo-boo over there a little bit. I'm impressed. Okay, next is blush, and the blush I am going to use is from Note. It's the shade Desert Rose, and we recently got this in a boxy charm, and I did use this, I think, like once, just playing around with it, not out anywhere or anything, um, and I swatched it when I opened it, and it's pigmented. So we're gonna be real careful. And it looks, um, especially in other people's videos, very like orangey, but it's not, I don't know. It doesn't go on the skin super, super orangey where like I feel like I can't wear it. It is very warm toned though. It's more just like of a peach though. And it's, I mean, like I said, it's pigmented. So you have to be careful with it. Um, Ow, that was my eyeball. Um, but if you're careful, you can, like, it does, like, blend out fairly nicely. God, that looks, my lighting always makes things, like, show up a lot more, which is both good and bad. Does not look that um, BG on my face, actually, but I am going to blend that out a little bit more with my big fluffy brush, but. <sighs> so it's one of those you just want to make sure that you are not going ham. And you'll be fine. And it looks ham, but it's not as ham as it looks. Dear Lord, we're just gonna blend that out a little bit more. Mm -hmm. 
Ka -ka -ka. All right, I have the one we got from Ipsy from Ciate London, this moon dust that I did play around with a little bit when we got it because it is gorgeous. Y'all, I do not have my shit together today. It's a good shade for me. It's blingy. Now we're on to apples. Okay. I have so many things to try. I think... I don't even know. I guess we'll start with... My pretty. You guys. I got the subculture palette at TJ Maxx. And I have not played with this yet. I've been a good girl and I haven't touched it. So, I'm excited. Um, I think once I've played with it a little bit and kind of have a firm like how long it lasts, all of that, I think I'm gonna do a full video review um, and do swatches and things but I'm not gonna do swatches right now just to kind of save time and I'm just gonna play in the colors a little bit um, and see kind of how things go and how they apply. The colors in this palette call to me, you guys, so much. Um, and I'd really like to get the plastic off of the mirror so I could use this. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Bam. Oh, and I have these that I've had forever and haven't tried yet. So we're gonna use them. Maybe. Me getting these on in a semi straight, how they should be lined, will be interesting. Oh, oh. Bam, there it is. I feel like I almost could like cut that in half and like share a strip between my eyeballs, but for now we're doing this. Uh, that is falling off. Hardcore. I feel like I did that wrong somehow, cause I can't like, <laughs> Move my face. Might also be because I have hooded lids, like, you know, this is why I can't do wing liner either. <laughs> my lid gets all kind of in the way. Well, that's just not working out. And I ain't got the time to play with it anymore, so. Oops, okay. I wanna get into these shadows. I'm gonna start with Dawn, which is this just kind of like my skin tone color. Oh. Yes, it is powdery. Um, but holy cow. Just to kind of 
go all over the lid and be that base shade that we need. Holy cow. I mean, I don't have to dip back in or anything. And then, oh, I do not have a plan at all. I know I wanna use Destiny, which is that like army green, but I'm trying to decide where I wanna put it. I really like Axis and Untamed as well though, too. Um, I think, Let's go into New Wave and do it next. It's kind of, it looks orange in my camera right now, but it's just this kind of like mustardy yellow. Um, almost like a golden, but not like it's more mustard. Holy cow, I barely picked up anything. Holy cow. Holy cow, you guys. <laughs> okay, kind of think I wanna put <laughs> Destiny just like all over my lid and just make this a very matte look. Um, ooh, or put Cube on top of it. Okay, mm let's, I'm gonna go into Destiny, which is that like gorgeous army green. I mean, I barely dipped into that, and I'm going, like, all the way across my lid with it. That is crazy. Okay, and then I'm going to take the brush that I had that other color on. And just kind of blend those together a little bit better. Okay, and then I'm going to use Cube which is the shade that looks white, but is really this like pretty like transformer shade um, on just like the inner corner and a little bit of like my lid where that green is. Mm, let me find a tiny brush. My fingers are just not small enough for this.
definitely has a sort of like pink um, hue to it, the duochrome. But like right where I put it on top of the green, it almost comes off a little bit like purpley looking. That's interesting. Um, now that I kind of figured out where I was going, I'm going to take those same colors and kind of just smoke out a little bit on the lower lash line so that it's more even. You guys, these are so pigmented. Like, I I don't even know what to say. Like, they... Are just, like, instant color. Like... That's absolutely crazy. Okay. Um... Okay, I think that's the eyes done. Well, and then I've got a liner. This is from Ico. I can't remember if this came in Birchbox or Ipsy. It was one of those. Um, it says it's waterproof. It's just an Ico liner. It looks like it's a felt tip. Hopefully I don't screw this up because I've noticed since I've had a Kat Von D brush tip liner that brush tips are a lot better for my eyes because they have so many wrinkles. Okay, that's not bad. I'm pretty impressed. It's a nice, deep, true black. It looks pretty matte. And it wasn't super hard um, to get a nice little tight line. I did mess it up once right there, but just, just barely in just a little bit. And I do that almost every time I do liners. So that's not necessarily the liner's fault. So yay for that. Um, I didn't bring a mascara. Hmm. Well, I'll do mascara later. I don't have any new mascaras to use because I've been trying not to open any. Let's do brows. I have a lot of brow stuff to use. Um, I got a sampling of the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in a few different shades. I have an Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear um, Brow Gel. And I have from Ico again, this um, brow liner, which looks like a like eyeliner, like a little like marker tip, but it's for brows. And it's this like weird brown color that definitely looks green in my camera. I mean, it is a weird, it's a weird color. It didn't look that weird the first time I like swatched it. It definitely looks green. I mean, that is full on green. Is it gonna look green in my brows? Oh, let's find out. Ah! And I'm dropping things. It's not bad. It's not a great color. I'm not a huge fan of the color, but it doesn't look as green like on my hairs. 
as it looks just like swatched on my hand. And you can definitely tell a difference in like the one I did and the one I didn't, so. Not my favorite brow product, but it's not awful. Okay. And then I'm not, I mean, I have used pomades, but I don't use them. Oh, it even came with a cute little brush. Um, I don't use them a lot. So I have, let's see, these shades are medium brown, chocolate, auburn, and dark brown. And they all look really similar, except one is obviously a lot lighter than the others. Woo! That is softer than I'm used to pomades being. I've had some like hard pomades, y'all. Holy cow, the brush just like went right in it. Okay. All right. I'm gonna run a spoolie through that if I can find my spoolie. That turned out pretty good. And that dried down pretty fast too. All right, let's do the other one. Are they sisters? Okay. All right, and then the brow gel is what I dropped on the floor. I like that. Easy to apply. I don't feel like it clumped majorly in one area or the other. It's got a nice little spoolie on it. I'm a fan. All right. And then lips and we'll be done. And I have this Koki Cosmetics lip powder thing that I got. I bought this because first of all, Koki is cruelty free. Um, but it says it's a liquid matte powder, and so I was intrigued. It smells pretty normal. It doesn't have a sweet scent or anything to it, but it's not like, oh yeah, that'll be much better. Much more muted. I don't really see it why they're calling it a lip powder. I don't know if that's just because it'll dry down matte or what, but I do really like that shade. That is really nice and that applied really easily. I like the doe foot applicator that it's got on it. All right, let me go fix my hair and I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back. I just fixed my hair and put on some mascara. Um, this Koki has not come, oh, that's actually not bad. It takes a little bit to dry down and it still feels just a little bit, not tacky, but not completely matte. Um, but it's pretty, like it's not really transferring or anything to my fingers now, so that's good. Um, but this is the final look. Um, I love you guys. I'm about to go out open my FabFitFun box that came today and I'm pretty excited. Also, this is where I just got mascara on my face. You can see that. Nice. <laughs> uh, anyway, I love you guys and I'll see you later.